Hello, everyone. Uh, in our previous video, we looked at the effect of um, a change in price or a fall in price on uh, consumption of a commodity, which was a normal good, right? So in this section, we are going to look at the effects of or effect of change, change in price on the commodity. But in this case, the commodity is a given goods, right? So I will start by first drawing my diagram. So this is my budget constraint. And this is my initial equilibrium. It's okay, so this is my initial equilibrium. So I'll call this optimal point A, right? Now let's say there's a fall in price. Now because there's a fall in price, this budget will spin on the wire this budget up to this point, right? And let's say as a result of the fall in price, we now have a new interference curve. Which is let's say at the point B is okay, great. So at this, at this point B, we are here. Great. Now look at something. Um, just like I did in the previous video, they, because there's a fall in price, right? Our real income is what increasing. That means we, we can buy more of S on S to right. So you have to compensate this um consumer by deducting part of the income, right? So the idea is to deduct part of this income so that until it goes to a point where the utility that the person is driving is the same as when there was no change there was before the change in that price, right? So before the fall in price. So there is a fall in price, your real income has increased. And we have to compensate you by taking part of your income, right? So you take part of your income until you get to the point where your utility is what, the same as when there was no change in, when there was, the, the, be, before the change in price, right? That is before the price decreased. So that means I will just, um, this one is going to shift pyro, right? So it's going to be pyro. It passes through this. Great. And it's, it's pyro, um, this budget line is okay. So that means it touches also at this point. So I'll call this part point C. Great. So look at something. So the optima X1, and X2, uh, sorry, X2 and X1 were here. This is point A, right? And because there was a force now moves to this point, and because um, a fall in price means our real income has increased, so we have to compensate this person by taking part of the person's income, right? And that has led us to this point C here, right? So from here, from A to C, so we call it substitution of effect, right? And from point B, to point C is what we call the income effect. It's okay, it's what we call the income effect, right? So now because this good is an inferior good, right? If it's an inferior good, when, then when there's an increase in your real in, uh, income, you reduce what your consumption of that commodity, right? So the income effect is going to work negative because it's an inferior good. So that is, the in income effect is reducing this by this margin, right? So the income effect here, which is negative, it's reducing it by how this margin. And now the substitution effect, because there's a fall in price, that is also going to cause your what? X1 to increase as a result of the substitution effect. So the substitution effect, which is EC here, is positive, right? So plus substitution effect, which is positive, right? Now, if you look at it clearly, the income effect what, outweighs or is greater than the substitution effect, right? That means the net effect is going to be what? negative is okay so the net effect is going to be negative so what it means is that when price one increases the consumption sorry when price one falls consumption of x1 also what falls and that means it, it, this happens when the commodity is what is a given goods right so that's why we say um all giving goods are inferior goods right all giving goods are inferior goods but not all inferior goods are what given goods right so this is the, the case whereby the inferior good is of it's a giving good. So when somebody asks you, um, what, what, uh, when do we say a commodity is not an inferior good? Then you say that a commodity is said to be an a, sorry, it's said to be a giving good when the income effect right is at waste the substitution effect. So um, in my next video, I will look at the case where the commodity is an inferior good, but it is not giving. Thank you.